I was with a friend the first time I saw the trailer for Ron's Gone Wrong, perhaps ironically, and their reaction was, that looks awful. My reaction was, this may be the best film I've seen this year. There was just something about it that hooked me, really drew me in. And having now watched it, it is on Disney+, Plus. I have to say, I really adored it. It's not perfect. There was a time in the middle where it dragged a little bit. But I actually thought it was really good fun. This was, of course, released this year. And it stars Zach Galifianakis as Ron. And Jack Dylan Grazer as Barney. The fabulous Olivia Colman, who I love more than life itself, as Donka. And Ron is... He kind of looks like a giant pill, actually. But he is a friend device. I'm not sure. I can't remember the terminology they use. But basically, it's this new toy that every school child now has. It's their best friend. The The device basically uploads that child's social media profile and instantly knows everything about them and is the perfect best friend. Ron does not have one. He's the only... Uh, Ron. I, I will do this frequently. Barney does not have one. He's the only kid in school who doesn't have one. And he eventually gets one, but it malfunctions from day one. And there's something about Ron that makes him very different to all of the other friend robots. And it gets Barney into a little bit of trouble, and nothing seems to go smoothly. What will be Ron's fate? I don't want to spoil it. I really want to talk about certain aspects of it and the ultimate message about Ron being different to all of the other friendship robots, but that also being a good thing for Barney and the benefits that Ron can bring by being the way he is rather than these programmed, finely tuned friendship robots that the rest of them are. I think Ron as a character is absolutely brilliant. I think he is hilarious. He is fantastic. The way he interacts with people is brilliant. One of, my, one of the animation is fantastic. One of my favourite scenes involves Ron picking up a meat cleaver. It's not sinister. It's not relevant to the narrative. It's a very short two, three second clip of Ron mid-malfunction holding onto a meat cleaver. And I just, for some reason, I thought it was one of the most hilarious bits of animation I've seen in a very long time. There is the emotional aspect associated with Barney, fantastically voice acted by Jack Dylan Grazer. Barney obviously is the social outcast. He is the only kid at school who doesn't have one. When he finally gets one, still things go wrong because Ron has gone wrong. And it just seems like this poor kid can't catch a break and he's being bullied and tormented. But with Ron's help, there is a chance that he can overcome those things, but in creative and unique ways. And I think there are so many lovely messages and morals in this. The, the animation design is just incredible. I also loved the, I guess, docking stations they have in the school where the friendship robots all go to sleep while the kids are in class. I'm not sure if any of that terminology makes sense, but I just, I love that. There are so many little details in this. Ron's facial expression when Barney first activates him, absolutely fantastic. The bit where I thought it dragged is, to be honest, when the action picks up and things get a bit more serious and then there is a threat to, uh, a very physical, real threat to the, well, to literally every single other friendship robot and indeed to the company that's created them. When things turn serious and a little bit of the humour dropped, just a little bit, I think it started to be a little less interesting for me. I preferred the scenes that were a little bit more lighter and fluffier but ultimately I had such a great time with it I thought it was just absolutely fabulous I think this one's dividing people in terms of its overall rating on IMDB 7.1 out of 10 it's done very well for itself but I, I do I have heard some people say that it kind of disappointed them personally though I thought it was great it did at certain times remind me of the Mitchells versus ver, ver, the Mitchells versus the machines. You know you have a, you have that scene in that film where they're all in the auditorium in a lecture. They're being introduced to this interface that's supposed to be absolutely fantastic. 
I feel like there are certain elements of that that are carried across into this film and it did feel like it's maybe not the freshest idea. But Ron is a character I thought looked brilliant. He is a lot of fun. I love the animation of all of the different friendship robots interacting with each other. And, oh, it's good fun. Definitely check it out. It's quite long. It's well over an hour and a half, which for a, a film targeted at children and their families is quite lengthy, even for today. But ultimately, I adored it. It was funny. It was entertaining. Is there anything I would change about it? Honestly, I don't think there is. Ron's Gone Wrong is definitely not wrong. It's brilliant fun, and I enjoyed pretty much every second of it. 